today we are getting rid of my acne scars because they are something that have made me really insecure for a long time and I think will really help my modeling career. I found you guys through Instagram and I chose you because the results on Instagram are absolutely incredible and I just had to see for myself. So we have a younger patient here that has a lot of these sort of indented atrophic scars. Some are actually a little ice pick like or box car. So what we're gonna do is do a little bit more scaffolding than the traditional subdermal use of the filler. First step is gonna be to do pixelate. We already did a little Bella fill, but she has these like, just right here, this sort of porous area and deeper scars. I'm gonna do a double pass. The first pass I'm gonna do is a little more superficial. The second, a little deeper. This is the worst it gets. She has a career that requires her to look really good and feel really good about her skin. I want you guys to see here, it doesn't look terrible. We put a lot of Bella fill in there. There's some little box cars that we could do in some ice picks. We could do TCA next treatment. Today we're gonna do a halo device um, to really get her as much as I can. So Pixel is now done. We were able to get a lot of improvement, you guys can see already. The goal right now, you guys, is that we get the deep laser, do a really deep on the scars, and then we get the superficial laser to get this more textural issues that she has these pores to heal. We're only halfway through this treatment, but look at all this, all this dead skin cells. She has deep scars. We're really pulling up a lot of the scars from the erbium. This is a high density, a deeper setting so that she's gonna swell for a week, but the long-term effect in about a few, a few months, the outcome of this is gonna be even better. You guys see that swelling right there, that little bit of the oozing? That's because we did the deep microneedling. The goal really is to have the higher density in that middle cheek area because everywhere else in our face is really good. It's gonna improve this nicely. We're also gonna go a little bit above her lip, just a little. We're gonna apply PRP right now topically. This is growth factor from her own blood help her heal. You guys can see that here. We already did the microneedling radio frequency. So all the scars, all the scars are really gonna uptake from the PRP. And that's it, she survived. I can't talk right now because of the nerve blocks, but it was great. The pain was very minimal with the nerve blocks and I'm really excited to see the results. So far, I really just have swelling and tightness. Um, I feel great though. I don't have any scabbing yet just because it's so soon. Today, I'm definitely feeling um, very dry, a little bit itchy, and I'm starting to scab. I think the swelling has gone down a little bit since day one, but it's definitely still there. Today, I'm definitely feeling a lot better. Um, I have no scabbing or swelling or anything like that. My skin is pretty much back to normal. So far, I am extremely happy with the results. You know, my skin feels incredibly smooth and just like so polished and amazing and I can definitely see a difference in the depth of the scarring. I'm just really happy with the results.